From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is the Midday Report on LA Late. It's a big midday here on LA Late with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. Home LA is back on, baby. And in this recording, we got our live Q&A about those four stimulus checks that have landed in every state. Over this special broadcast, it's live on air and interactive because I'll be jumping into the live chat with you. We'll be going over how to become a member, get that incredible newsletter, and get that four stimulus check that's now in every US state. Start by becoming a member, go to the top of the chat, becoming a member, get that newsletter Monday through Friday. And then in this recording, we're going to go over that force to must check that's in every U.S. state. Because guess what? You haven't decided to get your second application on file this week. Oh, boy, but you also know what Oma L.A. is about. It's about your food, your chocolate cake, and your Brussels sprouts. And in today's recording, we're back on with our food. Oh, boy, you've been hungry. You've been missing it. And today, what are we going to do? We are going to do the deliciousness of a great tamale and a great burrito from here in Los Angeles. How do you choose the right tamale and how do you choose the right burrito? Whoa, we got them both in this recording. A, uh, a burrito is in every U.S. state right now. <laughs> Four burritos are in every U.S. state right now. And the fourth um, the fourth tamale is in every U.S. state right now. How do you get that? That's check, um, that's check T and check B. No, but a four simple check is in every USA tonight and today, and we're going to go over how to get it because tonight on Amy's LA, I want to check in and see if you've gotten your second application on file. We're going to then go over the routing times of these incredible checks. When would you get them? And we're going to go over that big new add on that is LA 404 Plus and 404 Plus 2.0. What you need to know to ensuring that you're getting these checks that are in every US state. The deliciousness from burritos to tamales to your stimulus to your applied and getting these big sums of money heats up right now as noontime. Home LA is back on air live from Santa Monica, starting right here on LA Light. And good day. I <laughs> hope you're having a beautiful day with tamales and burritos and a stimulus check in every U.S. state. How much better can you be? A fourth stimulus check is now in every U.S. state. And in this recording, we're going to go over that incredible check. Plus, this is Home LA. It means interactive. So I'll be jumping into the live chat with you and going over how to get those incredible checks. You deserve them. A recession is coming. Inflation is here. And a stagflation could be coming thereafter. Then in the second half of this video, we go over some deliciousness. We'll be answering, I'll be answering your questions live on air in this recording. Then we'll be turning to the, the incredible details of a tamale and a burrito. How do you choose the right tamale and how do you choose the right burrito? Let's go to the incredible details, starting with the great news about that four stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. First, what do you want to do? First, you want to become a member, go under this video and hit the join button and join as a member. Next, what you want to do after that, after you become a Purple Power, uh, uh, um, uh, Purple Hawk or Calcino VIP, is subscribe. Go to the top of the chat and hit the subscribe button. Then you want to go to the front of the channel and hit that bell. There's a little bell and make sure it's set to all notifications. Thereafter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you get that incredible newsletter from this channel. In that newsletter is check A, B, and C for you to get. A fourth stimulus check is now in every U.S. state. And if you're in the live chat right now, write those words and I will re-graduate you from LA 101. We debuted this about a week ago today. If you can repeat back in the live chat right, right now that a fourth stimulus check now is in every U.S. state, I will graduate you. 
that is all needed to that is all that is needed to graduate for you from L8 101. As we go to L8 202, the next question is which for a stimulus check is in every U.S. state. If you're in the live chat right now, write the checks, if you recall, I hope you do, which are in every U.S. state. Which for stimulus check is in every U.S. state? Bob Bacon, am I alive? I am, and I'm wearing lobster shorts. No, I'm not. <clears throat> and there we are, and this is incredible. Are the for stimulus checks deposited like they were last time? No, Amanda, no, they are not. That is why it's important to watch this entire broadcast to learn about these four stimulus checks. It's two years later, and we're doing things differently as a government. So, if you wrote during the commercial, if you wrote after that question, what four stimulus checks are in every U.S. state? A, B, and C. You got it right. The four stimulus checks that are in every U.S. state are check A, check B, and check C. I debuted that on this channel a week ago today. Then on Cinco de Mayo, I said to viewers, within 24 hours, I want you to apply for check A, check B, or check C. You choose the check, but I'm giving you a 24-hour homework assignment because I want you to get it done within 24 hours. Apply for check A, check B, or check C. And if you're in the live chat right now, Get ready to tell me which of the checks you applied for last week. If you're a new member, I'm going to give you some guidance how to do it as well. And if you haven't become a member, become a member right now, and I'm going to show you because we have another homework assignment for L8404 thereafter. Check A. Who applied for check A? First, what is check A? Check A is $6,500 to $12,000. Number two, it's a forcible check in every U.S. state. It is called the Homeowner's Weatherizing Grant Check. It is available for people who make the same amount of money as a third stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 or less. Married couple, $150,000 or less. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or railroad benefits, you can get check A. So how do you get check A? Very simple. Step one, you become a member and also subscribe. Then go into that membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and go right down to check A in the membership newsletter. There it is. Then, under Check A in the membership newsletter, it has a link to go apply. You go right in there and you apply. You go to the, it'll send you into the nationwide website, choose your state like Tennessee, and then choose something like the Tennessee Weatherizing Grant Check. This is the Weatherizing Grant Check. You apply and you are done. If you're on the live chat right now and you apply for Check A last week, then write Check A. I am so ground up, proud of you. Uh, there is Bob Bacon and there's George. I think the I think the video is streaming like two minutes after I say the comments, so I have to wait a second. Um, there, oh, you know, and actually now it's catching up. So someone said, um, actually it's below my screen. Oh, Bob Bacon said I applied for check C. Good job, Bob Bacon. I'm getting check C in a second. So if anyone applied for check A, write in the live chat and I will graduate you. Let's go to check B. Check B is a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. It is fifteen to $80,000. It is a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. The income qualification is the same. And if you're on benefits, yes, you can get it as well. This is called the homeowner's grant check. How do you get check B? So simple. <laughs> so simple. You go and become a member. Then you go into that membership newsletter. And you go down to check B. It tells you a little bit about it. You click the links, the web links, and you go right in and apply for check B. It's so simple. It'll send you to the nationwide website. You'll see a map like this. Then you choose your respective state, let's say Tennessee again, and you go right in and submit and push enter and you're done. Boy, that is so simple. If you're in a live chat right now and you apply for check B, say you apply for check B and I will graduate you from LA 303. Congratulations. That is so simple. You basically just go into the membership newsletter, find check B, push, sends you to the website, then you choose your state, let's say Tennessee, push, and then it has the application right there. Put your name and address in there, push and submit, you're done. How easy is that? Fifteen to $80,000 for all those three pushes of the finger? That's a very nice payday. It is really quite wonderful. Now, the assignment I gave last Cinco de Mayo was to get one application in A, B, or C within 24 hours. If you did check B, or you've done that since that day, right in the live chat. Over a 1,000 people in 24 hours got their A, B, or C in. Let's go to check C. Check C is just as easy. If you apply for check C, 
go in the live chat right now and write check C and I will re-graduate you. Remember, a four stimulus check is in every U.S. state. How do you get check C? So again, you're going to go into that membership newsletter. You're going to go into that membership newsletter, go down to check C, and then it'll tell you where to call, what to say, and how to do it. Boy, that is so simple. Yes, you go right into that membership newsletter, go right down to check C, and it tells you, here are the places you call. Then here are the nonprofits you call. And this is what you say. And this is what you do. So simple. And there you go. And it's averaging about $2,000 a month over 12 months. That is Check C. If you apply for Check C, then I'm going to re-graduate, put it in the live chat. Now, that was Cinco de Mayo. Since then, I've had another homework assignment. And if you just joined as a member, don't worry. I'll give you an extra day or two to get this one done. But if you've been a member, oh boy, you have a deadline. Your homework assignment for L8404 is due tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Are you ready? Let me go over what that homework assignment is. To apply for your second forced to most check. So let's say you applied for C. Now I want you to go get another C. Let's say you got the water bill applied last week. Now go apply for the electric bill. If you did A, then go do B. If you did B, then go do A. Something like that. And remember, you can get rent applications in more than one place. So let's say you did county for C. Now go do rent with one of the nonprofits. And I'm going to check back in with you tonight in prime time at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time to see if you got your second application in on file. So we're zooming through this. Why? For a series of reasons. One, the money's not going to be around forever. Two, the economy is getting very bad very quickly. You can't sit around and think about this. you got to get the money as quickly as possible. So there's Dragon. Dragon got check C. And, uh, and it says, I am loving the live video. There's Georgia Peach. There is Candace, A, B, and C. Oh, boy. Busy this morning. I am busy this morning. And I'm going right to tape Evening to LA right after this. There is Reverend George Groven, A, B, and C. And there's Bob Bacon. So if you apply for check A, B, or C, I will re-graduate you today. Now, <laughs> Bob said he applied for a burrito. Burrito and tamale is coming up in this video. If you just join me, that's coming up in just a second. Now, yesterday we ex we went through L8 4.404 plus, and this morning on Mornings L8, we went over L8 404 plus part two. I'm going to do both of them right now. LA 404 is plus is so simple. It has one answer and you repeat that answer to every question. What is the answer? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You can say that really well, can't you? I, can't, I don't care. Let me tell you where that question comes up. Get ready to type in the live chat. I don't care. It comes up when someone's looking to apply for a stimulus check and says, I'm 75 years old, I'm 65 years old, I'm 85 years old, right in the live chat right now. You did it. I don't care. Age is not part of the application process for a forced stimulus check. So don't include extraneous, extra, supplemental information about yourselves. They don't care. They don't care in the application process. They're not going to prove you or reject you based upon your age. It's not an age-based stimulus. So don't include how old you are. I don't care. Next, let's go to the next one. If you were a hazard pay worker during the pandemic, get ready with your answers if you're in the live chat. Uh, do not, during the application process, start talking about how you're a hazard pay worker. I'm an essential worker. I'm a hazard pay worker. I worked as a nurse. I worked as a frontline worker. I worked as a teacher. I worked as this. The response from the application process is, you got it. I don't care. They don't care. It's not part of the application process. They're not approving you based upon your work or lack of work as a hazard pay individual. Finally, the most common time this comes up. The application process does not care if you're on benefits or not on benefits. You get treated the same way as everyone else. So, during the application for a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state, the element of being on veterans' benefits is not relevant. So, don't bring it up. So, you see someone in the live chat saying, when are they giving a check to people on SSI and SSDI for this forced stimulus check in every U.S. state? The response is, I don't care. 
It's not part of the application process. They do not take in consideration your benefits, whether you're on them or not on them, during the application process. Do not bring it up. They don't qualify you or disqualify you based upon your members' benefits. Now, this morning on Morning Daylight Live, we also went over a new one, which is called LLA 404 Plus 2.0. In this one, this one's actually a little bit more fun. <laughs> All you have to say for this one in your response is zip it. <clears throat> zip it. When does this one come up most commonly? It comes up most commonly when someone says in the live chat, when are they giving a check to all the rest of us? Zip it. Zip it. Why? Because all of us is all of us. <laughs> we, this is all of us. There is no other us. They're not giving for stimulus checks to lobsters, <laughs> to waveable checks to dancing bears or dancing pears. They're not doing that. The all of us is here. The checks are available for all of us right now. So if you're in the live chat, I'm gonna see if you're gonna get this one right. Get ready, I'm gonna reincarnate, reincarnate? Uh, <laughs> recreate uh, the expression that you are ready to pounce and respond to. When are they gonna give a forstimus check to the rest of us? Zip it, <laughs> says Dragon. A very well done. Very well done. Absolutely incredible great news. Uh, <laughs> and then finally, you know, that expression is also useful for something else. You know what it's also useful for? If you're at the beach and someone walks up wearing the lobster shorts, zip it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to see. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so there you go. That is your four symbols check. You have a homework assignment due today, due tonight. If you've been a member of this channel, welcome. If you have not just become, if you've just become a member, I'm going to give you more extension. But if you've been a member, you need to get your four symbols check application in by tonight for the second application. Why are we doing this quickly? Why am I asking people to get their second application in right away? One, the money's running out. You can't sit around and wait about this. This is why I'm zooming people through this process very quickly. I've seen some of the questions during the commercial, during uh, the fadeaways and the commercial breaks. I'll be answering them in a second. But I need everyone to get caught up. You did a great job last week. Everyone got caught up really quickly. Everyone learned the situation very quickly. Everyone got their application in really quickly last week, over a thousand viewers. And now I'm ready for you to get your second application in because one is not enough. You qualify for more than one. You qualify for the water, the gas, the electric. You qualify for rent in two different places or three different places or four different places. You qualify for homeowner stuff in multiple places. You qualify for a lot of items. And the economy is getting really bad very quickly. Now, in the second half of this video, guess what we got? We got me answering your questions live on air about these four symbol checks at every US state. So get your questions, start posting them in the in the chat. I will uh, be answering them after the commercial break. Put them in the live chat right now. And then we go back to home allied, your dear and beloved. We got burritos and also tamales. We'll go over what is the best way to buy a burrito and what is the best type of tamales. And how do you choose the right tamale? Which tamale is better? And which ones have you tried and not tried? of all that deliciousness coming up in a special live edition from Evenings L from LA. Plus, we'll have a preview of tonight's Evenings LA as well. If you haven't, during the commercial break, post your questions and comments and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. Also, remember to subscribe and also turn your alerts to all on. We'll be back with you in 60 seconds as a delicious noontime L8 returns in its real core form. Post your questions and comments during the commercial break, and I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.l8.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, 
and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the incredible details continue on a big afternoon's LA. As a force stimulus check is now in every U.S. state, and in the second half of this recording, we're going to go over that force stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. If you became a member during the commercial break, congratulations. If you've not, become a member right today. Then get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. In it, it has the details on how to get those big force stimulus checks. And the second half of this video, before we get to the deliciousness of some food, we're going to go into your questions that came in during the commercial break. And boy, um, it was as though I was not even recording. <laughs> Goodness. It's as though everything I just said in the first half, some persons just did not want to listen to anything I just said. We just went over LA 101. LA 202, LA 303, LA 404, and LA 404 plus. And guess what happened? Two people just simply went on their tangent and did exactly what I told them not to do. And let's go over what those persons in the live chat did and why not listening is going to get you no money and just going to maybe just throw you on the street with bankruptcy and foreclosures if you continue to not listen as this economy continues to get worse. Let me make this very clear. I'm saying this in a nice way, but it may come in sounding sort of tough. If you do not listen and continue to repeat your statement, you're going to get nothing. You're going to get nothing. And all you're doing is just closing your ears and not listening, and you're really going to lift, be left to nothing. Now, let me make this very clear. This is less than one, less than a half of a percentage percentage of the viewership of the channel. This is maybe out of a particular day with hundreds of thousands of viewers, maybe three viewers. But it always seems to happen when I'm live on air. And let me go into the live chat, which of course I have open to non-members right now as well. Let me go over the comment that I'm really referring to. It's Nicole. I had just said in this recording, do not ask when are people on SSI getting their force stimulus check. The response is, I don't care. Why? Because there's no separate delivery for people on SSI. Nicole writes, when are the dates for SSI stimulus checks going to come? Who told you that people on SSI get a separate check because you're on SSI? The response is, I don't care. There is no such separate check for people on SSI. Stop asking that. You get a check like everyone else. You got to do what everyone else does. You don't get preferential treatment. You don't get substandard treatment. You don't get better treatment or worse. You got to do what everyone else does. That is why Dragon correctly tagged her and says, we don't care. It is, again, L8 4.404 plus. Adding questions like when are people who are on hazard pay, who are essential workers or who work during the pandemics as teachers or who are frontline workers, when do they get their force stimulus check? I don't care. It's not part of the equation. Stop asking that because that gets you nowhere. In fact, nowhere during the application process. Does anyone have the opportunity to inform the recipient of the application that you're on benefits, that you're elderly, that you're a hazard paid individual? Now, that was not the only time that happened during the live chat. There was another person who said something like, um, when, uh, when does the check, uh, arrive for all the rest of us? Oh, let me, uh, I, I just found it. The question was the following. When is the check for all the rest of us at $2,000 a month for a thousand dollars thereafter going to come? Let me say that again, because I may have butchered that. When is the check for all the rest of us 
at two thousand dollars a month for a thousand dollars thereafter going to come for the rest of us zip it zip it because guess what all of us our checks are available right now these are the checks do you want four thousand dollars from pie in the sky flying dogs flying cats that hasn't become a law talk about something that's not a law and say that's us that's not you there's nothing for you no one has passed that yes no one has passed that law yet this is law and this is a fortune more money it's eighty thousand dollars versus four thousand dollars who would even mention the two things in the same context it's like saying um when is the Pinto coming for the rest of us? Uh, I got a nice, beautiful Tesla, a top of the line, $80,000 outside. No, when is the Pinto coming for the rest of us? The rest of us, well, we actually want a go-kart. When is the go-kart coming for the rest of us? No, the the, the, the brand new Tesla, fully paid for, uh, you know, for 20 years, it's all in the driveway, it's there for you, go get it. Now, when is the, when is the um, scooter coming for the rest of us? <laughs> Zip it. <laughs> just really refocus here folks now let me jump in the live chat and see some actual good questions that came in from viewers who listened and learned because this is so important it's very important that people get caught up very quickly across the board roll tide alabama hey cindy how are you uh thank you for watching uh, uh we do care we i, I love alabama <laughs> If you cross a tamale with a burrito, is it a tamale ito? A bob, please. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> when is a burrito landing in my in my wallet? Um, how do the rest of us get a tamale? <laughs> bob, just awful. Okay, so let me jump into the banana bread group right now. Uh, Pinto or or or, or Tesla? I think I think we take the the the, the Pinto. I don't see any other questions about stimulus. We're all going right to the food. So let's go right to the food, and I'll come back. If you have questions about stimulus, I'll come back to you uh, in the live chat. Tamale. Let's start with the tamale. Hey, ese tamale. Okay, so how do you choose the right tamale? What are the best tamales out there? Let me give you the prop higher. This is uh, bought yesterday. It was yesterday. No, the day before. The day before. Um, and this is, of course, wrapped. And there's the tamale inside of there that's also wrapped. And um, if you look at uh, the outside of the, of the wrapper, you may get a guidance as to what type of tamale is. What type of tamale is my in my hand? Jump in the live chat. And do not write, I don't care. <laughs> Jump in the live chat and write what type of tamale is in my hand and do not write I don't care or zip it. <laughs> That's for stimulus, not for my tamales. Okay, so this is a very delicious tamale. The way it's important when you're buying tamales, it's considered that the same tamale is often sold, sold cold or hot. So this one was sold cold and hot. They only had a few hot. So I got the few that were hot. And then I also got the cold, which I usually buy cold. Um, but I've never bought it hot. I got to tell you. It was a thousand percent better hot. It was a thousand percent better hot. It just, it just tastes better. Cold, um, at least with this one, was not as appetizing. Hot just tasted so much better. So let's jump in the live chat and see if anyone guessed my tamale. <laughs> Do not write, I don't care, or zip it. Name my tamale. It's a new show on LA. Name my tamale. <laughs> Uh, Anne said carnitas. No, that's not a type of tamale. <laughs> and uh, and uh, the, there we go. Uh, <laughs> um, Mary just, um, let me just pause for a second. So Mary, who I've seen in a lot of the new chats, welcome to becoming a new member. Um, Mary just wrote in the live chat, I don't own my own home, so I don't qualify for anything. Mary, you know that's really wrong. Mary, look at the camera. You know that's 100% wrong when you say, I don't own my own home, so I don't qualify for anything. You qualify for every darn check under check C. And I'll show you the people who don't own their own home who have gotten fortunes from check C. These are people who do not own their own home, and they got these sums of money from check C. Here's Mark. He's actually higher than 105. 50,000. He's now at $160,000. Mark doesn't own his own home. He got that. Lorraine, she's actually 120. She doesn't own her home. She got that from Check C. Here are people who also from Check C. Let's look at their numbers, what they got for Check C. Here are other people from Check C. Let's look at their numbers. 
And they are actually, these are outdated numbers. They've gotten a lot more money since then. These are all people who don't own their own home. These are people who got money from Check C. This is also people who don't own their own home. This is people who got this from Check C. So understand, it's all in the newsletter. Do not get confused and do not post something that is sort of obviously wrong. I mean, I only say this a thousand times per day, what Check C is. But I, but, uh, but, but thank you, Mary, for that comment. <laughs> it wasn't a question, it was a comment. Uh, you do qualify for check C. All right, let's go back. Did anyone guess my tamale? <laughs> it's not a check C tamale. <laughs> it is not a own your own home tamale. It, did anyone guess my tamale? It's a new show on the show. Guess my tamale. <laughs> I know Bob is just going to run with that one and have a whole series of jokes. Uh, a bacon and egg tamale. Oh, that sounds delicious. Um, but that sounds like a, a Brussels sprouts tamale. Okay, I'm going to stop this right now before we get off point, <laughs> Bob. Uh, it looks like an egg tamale. Oh, Lord. Where, folks, those are burritos. <laughs> Let's recap. Burrito is not a tamale. Palosium is not halosium. <laughs> so tamale is not a burrito. If you're talking about an egg and bacon, that's a burrito, not a tamale. So my tamale was, my tamale is, a pineapple tamale. Pineapple tamale. Pinye. Pinye tamale is absolutely delicious. It's my most famous, favorite type of tamale. And it has a pineapple essence in it. It's baked in the baking, it's made in the making process. So you, I can smell the, I can smell the pineapple holding it this far away from my nose. It is very clear. It is pineapple. That is why when it's hot, it has a lot better kick to it, a lot more deliciousness to it, than cold. Now, what other type of um, fruit tamales do they have? In Southern California, you'll see this one. You will see the strawberry. <laughs> At least hope to see the strawberry. I've had a real problems finding the strawberry. And they're, you know, in almost two years, they're always out of it. it sells really quickly. Sometimes you see a guava. Um, and there you go. Uh, now, in other parts of the United States, you may see tamales of other types. Um, I know that tamale is not a Cuban item, but if you go to South Beach and that sort of region, they do a lot of stuff with guava. They always have guava in their empanadas. So you may see uh, guava versions, but in Los Angeles, piña is the number one, and then followed by strawberry. How do I choose my right tamale? First of all, um, you need to be buying the tamale at the start of the day. Don't buy it at the end of the day. Most tamale places open at 7 a.m. They open very early for a reason. It takes a while to make a tamale, and they don't overmake them. So they sort of start making them at the start of the day. They make them based upon what they think is going to be the consumer demand in the store that day, and then they'll sort of start to taper, taper off, and then they'll just run out. They will not overmake because you cannot save a tamale to the next day as a seller, as a store merchant. Now, what about you? I freeze them. Yes, you can freeze a tamale. You can absolutely freeze a tamale, and you can freeze a burrito. They freeze beautifully. They freeze beautifully. So, over by, store, put it right in the freezer, and freeze it. Don't freeze it when it's hot. Let it cool down. But if it's cold, put it right in the freezer. The other type of tamales that are great are the red tamales, the green tamales. There's a corn you want to be careful if you're diabetic because the corn is very high in a sort of sugar content because it is corn, which has a, uh, has a has that element to it. And then it's also sweet. It's sweet corn, and they add a little bit of sugar to it. So it's 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 it's, it's intense. Don't think it's just natural. It's, it's not. It's not. Um, but the, I love the red one. The red one is really good if you're hungry. Very, very delicious. Um, most tamale places close very early. So they open at 7 a.m., close maybe at about... 1 o'clock in the afternoon or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Buy quickly and keep them uh, stored. Meantime, I'm a great thing to give as a gift. People love a tamale. You just show up and say, here is a tamale for you. Now, let's go to the burrito. The burrito. And the burrito is a totally different universe than the tamale. I'm holding it in a little um, paper napkin here because it is a little... Um, it has a little bit of hot sauce grease on the outside, so I don't want to get on camera. If you have any questions about stimulus between the tamale and the burrito, <laughs> let me jump in the live chat. Let me jump in the live chat right now for your tamale or your burrito or your stimulus questions that you may have across the board. Um, we are doing a force stimulus check that is in every U.S. state. And there is Anne. I make tamales and I freeze them. Oh, Anne just makes it all. I keep my tamales wrapped, says Bob Bacon. Very well said. Just Sharon, ABC. Good. 
well, it sounds like a pineapple upside down cake would be a good idea. Yeah, that would sound actually wonderful. Great across the board. Um, there is um, um, there is some questions. So Mary, oh, Mary, you're back again. Um, okay, so Mary, you know, I'm going to use Mary as an example. I'm not beating up on you, Mary, but I'm using you as an example. Mary has now posted two I don'ts. One comment, I don't, and another, I don't. And I don't, <laughs> and I don't, I don't know where your I don'ts come from, Mary. You are ready to default with I don't for everything. You first said none of these checks qualify for you because you don't own. Okay, which you know is wrong. C is for renters. Guess what? She was ready to come back with another I don't. Now she says I'm not behind on my rent, so I don't qualify. Who told you that, Mary? That's not how it works. There is more than just one place to call. There's 15 places to call. Now, it's not so much that you have that you have said this, but it's a mindset. And this is where this mindset needs to stop for anyone that works in that, that goes in that sort of universe. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I won't, I won't, I can't, I don't. Stop it. You're thinking that because you're trying to look for something else on the horizon. That something else on the horizon is not there. There is no MSC passing today. There is no $25,000 for a new home passing today. There's no Build Back Better Act passing today. And if you're trying to say, I don't like A, B, and C because I want something else from Bernie Sanders, it's not passing today. And I got to tell you, this is where the universe is. I'm here to get you money today. This is what I do. I get people money today. I've done it for two years. I get people today. You can go to another channel and a person will sit there and sell you snake oil for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, talking about this wonderful stuff that's going to happen, going in the future, going again, again, again. It never happens. And all that person does is cleans up and continues to make videos about a future event that's not happening. This is not a future event. This is happening today. Check A has passed. Check B has passed. Check C has passed. Check D is passed. Check A, B, and C are in every U.S. state. And I'm showing viewers how to get those checks, and they are cleaning up. The viewers are cleaning up because the checks are available right today. Talking that you don't qualify for check A, B, and C because the, the color of my shirt is the wrong color. <laughs> because I don't like to <laughs> Because he just talks about burritos and tamales. I don't like either of them. I'm not going to get a stimulus check because I don't like tamales. I'm not going to get a stimulus check because I don't like burritos. I don't like, I'm not going to get a stimulus check because I don't like Bob's jokes. I'm not going to get a stimulus check because I don't cook like Ann. I'm not going to get a tamale because I don't tag like dragon. <laughs> you keep on doing it. If that's the way you want to go with it, then you're just never going to get anything because you're going to keep on repeating, I don't get it. And guess what happens? And here comes a tough love. Big tough love moment. You're going to go a few more months. The economy is going to be really bad. The economy is going to be really crumbling. And the Build Back Better app will still have not have delivered you a check. And all these people have gotten check A, B, and C will be sitting on a wad of cash that you cannot get anymore because the cash will have been used up. I'm playing tough love now because the cash is there now. I don't have time for you to, to battle the information and push back against the information because it's cash is on the table. There's cash on the table available for you now. And if you keep on pushing back on that cash, then when you come to the reality that that was the cash available for you, it's gonna be gone. It'll be too late. Stop pushing back against the cash that's on the table. And stop pushing against the burrito. <laughs> Let me jump in the live chat. And let's see what the reaction is to the burrito and the tamale. <laughs> There's a lot of people getting confused with the burrito. The Baconator burrito. Okay. Oh, someone actually has an emoji of a burrito. Oh, that's hysterical. Brian has a uh, has an emoji of a burrito. That is hysterical. Uh, <laughs> and Bob is putting some burrito jokes I cannot say on air. <laughs> Bob is going with those burrito jokes. Oh, stay away, Bob. Be careful. Welcome, Jandy, to the family. <laughs> Just welcome. Uh, loving you today. Chili and hot tamales. Um, the uh, Oh, so William has a question. I haven't gotten all my documents lined up in the three quarters all the way through check A, halfway through check 
and the three quarters halfway through check C. I don't understand the question. Um, it's a really good question from William, but I'm having problems understanding it. He's saying, I don't have all the documents ready. Um, if the application, the way your state does it, requires you to have the documents ready at the time of submitting, then, uh, then do whichever one you got ready. If the, if the, if the way you're doing check, well, he said check C. Check C can be done 20 different ways, depending on which organization you reach out to. This is a great question, William. What I always recommend is that get your application in, and if you can supplement it with the documents at a later date, do it. Why is that so important? Because if they run out of money, you already had your application in. Most of the time, they'll honor the date in which you submit it. Let's use an example. Let's say um, they're they're open today for the applications, and you're about to submit. And they're like, oh, you're like, oh, I don't have the documents ready. Let me not submit. And then a week from now, while you're getting the documents ready, they close the application file, and they say, no, sir, we're done. We're not accepting any more applications. But I was I was almost ready to submit. Sorry. In some cases, they will still process your application if it was already in but was incomplete, meaning you don't want them to close the door on receiving, on submitting applications because you're waiting for documents to, to get together. Get it in and then supplement it at a later time. Um, that's always the best policy. The rare circumstances where they'll, they'll, you'll get the application in, they'll say, we're out of money, um, we're out of money. But they generally close the application site before they run out of money. So don't wait because I don't want you to have the door closed on you uh, in your respective state. That was a great question from William. Thank you so much. Uh, let me jump back in the, in the, into the live chat. Uh, Lord, um, the <laughs> uh, we are just going after it. Um, um, the, um, Mary is still doing it. So Mary, I'm going to put you in timeout. Um, Mary is still saying, I'm not behind on rent, so I don't qualify for anything. Mary, um, I, I, I'm not going to make this whole recording about you. I've made it very clear. If you are not behind on rent, are behind on rent, that has nothing to do with the equation. You can keep on running these no, 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 no's. And those, <laughs> there I go, I hit the wrong video. You can run all those no's as much as you want, but um, that is a uh, mindset, and you're in a wrong mindset. You're running no's for everything, and I'm keep on telling you that's not part of the equation. It's not part of the application, and you keep on saying it is. So ultimately, I guess you don't want the money. The money will be left, and you will be left without it. Um, let me go to another question that someone had. Which stimulus has burrito? <laughs> Bob Baker, that's hysterical. Uh, which stimulus has Bob, has? Um, so is there nothing coming from Build Back Better Act for expats? Okay. So, um, if you are a uh, U.S. citizen, Howard, if you're a U.S. citizen, then, um, and you qualify for check A, B, and C, because I don't know your status because you said expats, my answer would be zip it. Again, this is someone who says, uh, what Howard is just saying is saying, let me look to the future and talk about Build That Better Act. I want that stuff from Bill Bat Better Act. I don't want what's available now for Jack A, B, and C. They'll before me in my uh, from where for for me. Uh, and you're saying I don't want that. I want something else. Zip it because that something else is not law yet. And I'm not here for people to keep on talking about not wanting the present and wanting something that hasn't happened yet. It's just. Uh, I, I don't know any universe where people grew up in where there's a wad of cash on a table and a lot of wad of cash. I mean, we're talking about fortune folks here. $2,600. Twenty, let's, let's look at the graphic. These are massive wads of cash. And people who say, I don't want this. I want something else. It just doesn't resonate. And it, it is stemming from an idea that there's something else is more lucrative. It's not. Look at these sums of money. These are astronomical sums of money, and they are available today. And that anyone that simply says, I don't want that, I want Build Back Better Act. Good. Um, good. Come back, you know, when you hear Build Back Better Act passed, and guess what's going to happen then? 
guess what happens when Build Back Better Act passes? You're going to have to apply for the money in Build Back Better Act as well. People somehow think that Build Back Better Act is just sort of automatic wads of cash again, that sort of just automatically land, automatically this. And let's add to our zip at the following line as well. A person who says, is it going, is the fourth stimulus check going to arrive the same way as the first and the second and third? Does the first and the second and third, is the fourth going to come the way the first and second and third is? Zip it. I mean, who in the universe repeats what goes on two years ago and say, is it going to happen the same thing was two years ago? I don't even repeat that for <laughs> the tamale. I went to the store two days ago. I tried to get the strawberry tamale. And I walked in and I said, I want, you know, a certain number of strawberries, a certain amount of We don't have penis. Do you think I stood there and started ranting off? Well, you always had strawberry two years ago. When is a strawberry tamale going to land on the counter like you did two years ago? Sir, we haven't had tamales like that for two years. Well, you always, that's how I always, just, no, no, no. It's two years later. It's a different economy. It's a different universe. It's a different financial institution. It's a delivery, it's a different system. It's different emojis. Now we have burrito, to, burrito to emojis. It's a different universe, and that's why it's important to pounce when the money is available. Let me jump in the live chat as well uh, and see some more of the comments that you may have um, for tamales, burritos, and stimulus. Uh, build back burritos. I, <laughs> I want that from Anne. Uh, and I love that. Uh, and let me see some more of the questions. Um, uh, oh, so um, Howard lives in Thailand. Um, so uh, there, oh no, excuse me, William, uh, South Arizona. Uh, LA, I'm sorry about the confusion. I'm in, here's William. I'm in South Arizona trying to put in for the fourth stimulus and the third stimulus, all seem to want to documents and like pay stubs. If anyone knows that, please help. Okay, so William has a brilliant question. I love William's question. You know why I love William's question so much? Thank you, William, for this question. It shows someone who's doing the work, putting the stuff in, and is now having issues about how to organize the application. That's what this channel is for. I should only have to be making that video. Unfortunately, I'm spending so much time talking about that a check is in the state. I'm having to convince people that a check is in the state that I don't have time to focus on great questions like Williams, which is, okay, I know there's a check in the state. Okay, I've already applied for the check. They're asking me particular nuances about the application. How do I do this? Those are the type of questions that this channel is created on. I was, this channel was birthed on answering your questions on how do I do the PUA application? How do I do the EIDL application? How do I do these applications? And unfortunately, sometimes I'm going backwards because I'm having to convince people that checks were available for them. And you've seen even this recording. I spent so much time telling someone, go get the check. I shouldn't have to make that recording. Go get the check. I shouldn't have to convince you to go get a check. You don't want it? Good. Don't get it. Here's William. He wants the check. He knows a check's available. He's ready to get the check. He's having problems with the application. That's where my my time should be spent. And my learning curve is going down because I'm not learning the problems that people are having. I need to hear those problems like William's having. Instead, I'm hearing people's problems like, when's the check landing for people who like burritos? Uh, William, so since you're a member, um, go to the community page, which is in the description of this video, let's see if I remember the, the web link by heart, um, news.la.com forward slash community, and go in there, and then there'll be a button you press, then it'll send you to the page, you'll see Dragon, who I know is in the live chat, and it just interacted with you, choose Dragon, and you'll go right in there. The link to the community page, again, is in the description of this video, news.la.com forward slash community. Let's end on, end on that great note. William is where I want you all to be. William is applying for two different things. He's seen an issue with one. That is where we need to all be. We know that there's a check there. We know where to apply. And when we're in the application process, we're getting maybe tripped up, we're getting a little confused, or maybe when we're waiting for the approval process, we're getting a big question. That's where we need to go, folks. And that is the future of all of us. Um, and then some strawberry uh, tamales. <laughs>
Join me next at 3 o'clock afternoons, LA, which is a big show. It's a brand new show. It's at 3 o'clock today. And then a brand new evening's LA at 5 o'clock. Meantime, this show will automatically take you to the 1 o'clock afternoons, LA. Thank you for all your incredible questions. Thank you, Mary, for your great questions. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, uh, William. Thank you for everyone who posted great questions. Remember, you have two um, things to get done by the end of the day. You're to get, if you're a long-standing member, you're to get two applications on file for your four stimulus checks. Even what William's doing is fine. I want you to be in the process, application process, for two of the four stimulus checks. A, B, or C. You choose any one you want, and you can do multiple Cs. You can do different Bs. Well, actually, you can do a B and an A. Uh, and get that by tonight, and I'll check in with you on afternoons at 3, and then uh, feature you tomorrow live on air. And with that, remember, get that delicious burrito, get that delicious tamale, and get that delicious stimulus. Go to the top of this channel and become a member, because a force stimulus check is in every U.S. state. Then, get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day, and stay with LA for more.